so let's talk about some of the things that people might not might not see as a drug. Let's talk about alcohol. Like terrible because all it does is create inflammation. It's 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 just it's doing the opposite of what you want your body to do. You're dehydrating yourself. It it's almost like eating spicy food all the time. It's just it's right, not right. It's not set, settling well. It's coming back up. <laughs> yeah. And now what about caffeine? Caffeine, same thing. Caffeine is one of the biggest things that I think people don't realize how bad it is. Um, I know for me, I'm a big coffee drinker and I'm a big oh tea God. drinker. And I know with tea, tea has so much more caffeine, right? So I feel like I, I feel like coffee doesn't affect me as much. But if I make a make if I have like two cups of tea in a day, I feel it coming like it's 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 so much caffeine. Tea, tea for me is much more of a of a predator than coffee is. But even like chocolate, mints, things that you think like mint, you would think, oh well, that will settle my stomach. Another thing that can really drive up acid in your stomach and cause issues. Um, and then, like I said, with tea, oh, you think you're, oh, I won't have the coffee. I'll have the tea. That's a safer bet. But so many teas have so much caffeine in it. You don't know, you know, what you're getting. It's yeah. for me, tea is worse than coffee. <laughs> I mean, I know it probably goes without saying, but can you talk about nicotine and, and reflux? Absolutely. I mean, like just anything that's driving, I mean, again, it all comes down to that gut balance. Anytime you're throwing that gut microbia off, it's creating an imbalance of good and bad bacteria. Um, caffeine is like probably worse, I would say, than, than any food that, that can trigger reflux.